Hello, my name is Angel Leon and I'm the co-founder and lead developer of Frostwire. Frostwire is an open source file sharing client and media player that was created initially as a fork of LimeWire once the freedom of information sharing on that peer-to-peer -peer network was threatened. Today, I want to invite you to collaborate with our project and to help us build the peer-to-peer -peer technologies that will help decentralize the internet of today and tomorrow. Here at Frostwire, we believe it's a human right to have uncensored access to information and culture. And despite the negative stigmas associated with file sharing technologies today, we should always work to preserve open, uncensorable channels to share information and culture. Peer-to-peer -peer information sharing protocols like BitTorrent enable us to do this. And we need, to, we need help, especially from young students, young people with fresh new ideas on how to build the next generation file sharing technologies that will keep mankind connected and free to know the truth. Frostwire as it is today consists of several open source projects. Frostwire Desktop, our client for Windows, Mac, and Linux computers. Frostwire Android, our client for, for Android devices, mobile phones, tablets. Uh, Frostwire JLib Torrent, our BitTorrent libraries, which are based on the awesome open source project called LibTorrent. And Frostwire Common, which is a project with common libraries shared among all the other projects. This is just the beginning. Therefore, we are looking for students or people eager to learn what it's like to create real world massive use software uh, in an open source community environment. It's very different than doing this in an academic environment or in a corporate environment. And it's a lot more fun. Um, we are looking for people that care about the same ideals that we do and the possible applications of peer to peer technologies to not just enable free uncensored information access for file sharing, but also for publishing and communication or to level the playing field on markets that are currently ruled and limited by media monopolies and archaic payment networks. We need talented programmers with a passion for simple, clean, efficient code and design uh, who are eager to always put the best efforts into every contribution so that our code base has no broken windows at any time. Students looking to learn object-oriented programming to the fullest will find Frostware a very fulfilling playground. Know-how in peer-to-peer -peer networking or experience with peer-to-peer -peer software is a plus, but it's not necessary. Uh, all this knowledge will be gained by collaborating with the project. Experience in the areas of, of networking um, protocols like TCP or UDP will be of help, but they're not necessary to contribute to Frostware, as Frostware is just it's not just file sharing, it's a lot more in there. Um, we deal with problems like, like search, um, file management, um, file browsing, OS integration. Um, we, we deal with multiple operating systems, what, what it's like to deploy software on many, many platforms and deal with millions of users. Um, media playback uh, and user experience uh, so are some of the areas you'll be in touch if working with this project. Um, the languages, the programming languages used are mostly Java. Uh, most of the project is written in Java, uh, especially the Android version, and uh, C and C++. Uh, in case we need to go down and fix some of the libraries like, like LibTorrent itself or mPlayer, which is the media player that we use. Um, but if you know languages, scripting languages like Python, Ruby, Bash, uh, you name it, uh, this will help you build tools to make your life easier and to help you know test things or experiment uh, and, and prototype a lot faster. Uh, if you have any Linux knowledge, it's going to help a lot. Uh, we need passionate graphic designers and user experience designers to help us better the way users interact with our different products. Our user interfaces are constantly changing and we want to adapt the desktop version to new design trends uh, that are friendlier with new hardware devices such as touch devices and um, possibly things like uh, holographic augmented reality. How will you share files with with you know with Hololens of Microsoft? Like we're already trying to think how that would look like, and uh, we need young minds to help us with these ideas. Uh, we also need translators in every language 
to help maintain uh, the ever-changing messaging uh, presented to our users as, as the UIs and products keep evolving. Uh, and we want to include as many people worldwide to use our, our products. They need to be translated constantly. Um, and we also, of course, need testers that can help us find and reproduce bugs before we ship new versions of the software. So if you can code and maintain automated tests, this will be a great way to get familiar with the code base. Now, how to get involved? Uh, this is not something where you come and you send us a resume. We really don't care about your resume or your credentials. What we really care about is that you can do uh, what's needed and that you are willing to do what, what's needed with passion. So Frostwire is an open source project. So this means you, you don't need to ask permission to start fixing anything. Uh, if something bothers you, you just go ahead and do it. Sure, it, it might be nice to talk to us and, and see if we are already working on some things or, 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 or on the way that you think about tackling a problem. Uh, but you can go right now and all you need to do is just cl clone our repositories and start working on, on those issues that may bother you or on any of the existing issues published already on our bug tracker, which are probably hundreds right now. Um, Frostwire is, is a never ending project just like any other software project. Um, each one of the projects uh, is periodically funded with Bitcoins. And these Bitcoins come from the donations sent by our users. Uh, this way, if uh, one of your patches gets merged into a master branch, you will be immediately um, compensated uh, one percent of what's left on on the donation fund this is done automatically and it's out of our control once uh, we accept a patch the money just will go to your bitcoin wallet um, immediately uh, so it doesn't matter where in the world you are you will be get you, you will be able to get paid um, uh, in bitcoin of course uh, so we try to keep the funds uh, of those projects so that every time you you get a commit accepted you will get a tip that will range from maybe five to 20 US dollars. And that also, of course, depends on, on the current price of Bitcoin and how much funds we have available. Now, there are harder issues that also have bounties. So, I don't know, there's maybe a new feature that we wanna add on the media player or something uh, a lot harder. Um, we, we, have put, we are putting and we have put some bounties on those, some of those issues. And bounties can be things like getting free Frostware gear, shirts, hoodies, uh, USBs, uh, stickers, um, clothing in general, or it could be just plain money. Uh, bounties can range from you know, $25, $50, $100, or even more. And this, of course, depends on the complexity of the problem to solve and the funds that are available at the time from our donors. Uh, so join us. Let's let's make software that gets used by tens of millions of people. Uh, this project's almost ten years old. It's touched tens of millions of people now that um, it's available on Android. Uh, we we seem to be growing uh, rather healthily in user adoption because so much people have phones compared to desktops, and um, you will be surprised to find out what you are able to do and how many people you can impact in a very short amount of time. And uh, we, we believe in release early, release often, so your, your, your contributions will make it to the next build rather quickly. You won't have to wait a year to see what you have contributed uh, to go, go out there. Um, community members who are proven to collaborate with true passion and talent to the point that we trust you enough to have direct commit privilege on the project will of course be considered for partial or remote full-time hiring. Uh, so. Frostware is, is a decentralized project in every aspect and our headquarters is the internet right here, right now. This is our headquarters. Wherever you are uh, watching this from, uh, you're already at Frostware. Uh, so that means that everyone is free to work on it remotely from where it's most convenient to them. Now, if our projects don't yet excite you uh, as much as they excite us, uh, we, we have uh, thought of a very interesting projects for the future which we would call frostware lab projects and for these we have absolutely zero lines of code except maybe some some uh, tests on a prototyping language or discussions on the internet that are that have been ongoing for months and we think uh, there are two two interesting projects we should pursue um, the first is to create a BitTorrent based web and this means creating a web browser or hacking an existing web browser, of course, and uh, creating web publishing tools 
that will leverage the power of BitTorrent to let anybody publish uncensorable content online. Um, we think that that will have a huge impact. And we know that folks at BitTorrent Inc. already have Project Maelstrom and uh, we've looked at it and we of course have our own take on it and maybe we'd like to work on it in an open source fashion uh, so that we can make the best out of it uh, together. And then we are very passionate about Bitcoin here ever since we found out about it. And we would like to enable content creators to sell files legally for Bitcoin on the BitTorrent network. So let's implement a proof of concept and let's put it inside Frostware that will allow any content owner, any content creator to sell their files without having to sign up for a centralized service such as iTunes or Amazon. Uh, let's enable book authors, musicians, filmmakers, photographers to publish content on the network that is downloadable for Bitcoins. And then those authors will get to decide if they want to share a percentage of the sale with honest seeders willing to help distribute the content. So if you are a seeder and you buy some of the content that's out there for sale legally on Frostwire, you could help that content owner, not just with the money you paid, but if you leave your computer open, uh, running Frostwire and sharing that file, uh, you will get a, a commission of, of all the further sales uh, if your computer gets to share pieces of the file, which should be a reason good enough for you to not pirate the file and give it out for free because you will get more by sharing it legally. So that's uh, the uh, one way that we think uh, we can help combat piracy on peer-to-peer -peer networks. Um, so if you're interested in that, I suggest you take a look at Bitcoin payment channels and escrow, escrowless payments, uh, zero trust uh, transactions. Um, getting there into a little more detail. So that's all I wanted to tell you. And um, you can contact us uh, on our Facebook page, Frostwire Official. You can contact us at our email, contact at frostwire.com. You can contact us directly on the GitHub repositories uh, or on Twitter at Frostwire. Uh, so we hope you can join us. Bye.